What's up guys, welcome back. So we got a Patreon request today, Dead by Daylight from Dave again. So he asked me to pick one of the characters. So I had no idea, there's so many. Um, but I liked this one, the Huntress. Looked pretty cool, right, with this creepy rabbit mask. So I'm on the landscape page, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if we go too fast. We've got a head tilt. Um, not too hard because of the mask, so it makes sort of the facial features a bit easier. So use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So we're going to start with her mask and we have a head tilt, so bear that in mind. So where's my image? Do, 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 do. She's kind of a cool character. The Huntress kind of lives in the woods, kind of thing, chopping wood and all this. And a bunny rabbit mask. So, let's start with the eye shapes, right? She just has these black eyes, right? So, center point about here, come up over to the left and we'll go just this. We'll just get the general shape of the eye, right? So like this. It's kind of like a lemon or an almond or like a grain of rice or something right? like that. And it's just black inside there. I think in some scenes you can see our eyes, but not in this. So we'll just color that in black. Right. And you're going to go eye width, right? The width of this eye fits in between and the next eye starts there. Same shape, but you can see now we're tilted. So. kind of thing and then color it in black All right and then so this rabbit mask then the nose sort of we got like coming down from the eyes here we've got this light line that kind of goes down the nose right Just there, and this joins the bottom, which comes around to a point, and then back up the other side, up to there, right? And this has a pink top, so it goes around the side like that. There's blood splatter and stuff all over, but we'll just get the main shapes first. So we've got like some texture coming around this eye then. So some of this kind of bumpy, gnarly. There's all cracks and things as well. There's eyebrows. These kind of thin, sort of bumpy lines for the eyebrows on top. Okay, kind of like that. So then, rabbit sort of face. So coming out from the bottom of the nose, right? We've got sort of the these sort of cheeks, rabbit cheeks. Imagine this coming at you in the woods, creepy. And then this goes around that side, and then it kind of just goes up around her head, right? Eventually, it'll join ears. Just there. So maybe like some lines just to the corner of her eyes and right, so then those ears, right? So coming out from here, big rabbit ear going up this way. And back down. Like so. And then the same here, except this one seems to have a bit taken out of it. So it's like stunted, it's like cracked or something. The mask must be porcelain or something like that. Or like clay. And then top of the head will go across like here, right? And then of course we've got the inside of that ear. So the sort of pink section, you know, that rabbit ears have. that and then the other side 
But again, this side broken off, right? So it goes right up to the top and then we have this crack in it. Like here, that goes around then to there. And so texture then on all this, right? So you're gonna add sort of these cracks and stuff all over them. As much of this texture as you want, of course. And it's, it's real dirty and scratches all over. And there is like red blood on it as well. So you could do that with color if you wanted. There's no point in me drawing it in, but there's like, you know, splatters of blood and stuff. Like kind of on her forehead and stuff, just coming across the mask. But you do that when you're coloring, I would, I would say would be a better option. So I won't draw it all in, just add that texture. Okay, so shape for the face. So the chin is like about here, right? So we'll go, we'll just mark that so we'll go We'll go to there for her chin, right? And then her jaw. Up there. And then up there as well. Okay. And then her mouth, we can just see coming across here. It looks like she's got like a cut lip or something. I'm not sure. So we'll go, see the center line for the mouth comes down, up down again and it kind of goes along kind of like the joker or something so it's like back here and there's like some blood or something coming down her mouth all there right so that'd be red i'm just hatching it in just so we can make it out a bit and then her bottom lip just there and then maybe like a shadow just like that, and then again, she's like got all dirt and scratches all over her face. She lives in the woods, so. She's sleeping rough. <laughs> uh, right, so neck. Do, 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 neck tilted, so it goes that way, and then the other side. So the head is like, so when you tilt a head, so this it gets elongated. If you look in the mirror, you'll see this is longer, this is shorter, you know, if you did it yourself. So in the mirror, so your short neck there. And then her shirt sort of collar comes around. She's got like a t-shirt and then a jumper. We call them jumpers, I'm sure. In America, you call them sweaters. Right, so. And then maybe neck muscle lines just there. And she seems to have like scratches and blood and stuff all over her neck as well. Okay, so get her shoulders in. She's quite wide shoulders for a female character. From a, probably from like swinging an axe <laughs> so much. But let's go. So just shoulder going down this way. And she's got these straps, right? So it's kind of bumpy here. And then a shoulder goes out down that way. Kind of three quarters. So this is a bit narrower, right? So this shoulder is kind of skinnier than this one goes down there 
and then this leather strap goes down this way and this one goes this way it's got a button there there and we'll go we'll add texture so just some lines to the leather strap here like stitching on the edge and like her so her chest kind of comes out this way so it's like that's her armpit and then here as well and there's like some bumps and stuff coming around here and some lines on her clothing It disappears on her shoulder, so it's like some stitching or something here, but it doesn't go down her arm. So we just had some scratches and dirt and blood and things. All right, so the last thing I gotta do is this veil that's behind her head, right? So it's sitting on top of her head. It's back here, so it goes, let's go. So it goes out this way. And it's kind of ripped and torn, sort of. At the back here and then comes down this way and then it goes up behind the top of her head behind the ears yeah so that's like top of her head so there and then out the other side and it'll just go down behind her shoulder down to there and it is like it's a it's a veil but I can't really draw in all the it's like a real detailed wire mesh but we'll just I'll just keep it like a fabric kind of like this Doop. and you can put as much detail into that as you want um, and if you want you can add an axe somewhere here but I won't I'll just leave it like this you can add an axe on her back or something I was looking at images of her holding an axe and all that they were fairly complicated so I thought I'd just keep it simple with the portrait. And I kind of like it when they're simple like this, you know, just weird, creepy head tilt and no need to complicate things. Right, but that's it. That's how to draw the Huntress from Dead by Daylight. Hope was helpful. Thanks for the request, Dave. And maybe I think that's top of the head. And then I'm going to add a line here because I think the mask should be, I thought it was finished, but I'm not. <laughs> I think the mask is there. And maybe you could see some of her ear in there, can you? Getting distracted now. Can you see some of her ear maybe in there? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for the request. Anyone with unusual requests like this, head over to Patreon. Stuff that I don't normally do. You could give it a go. Sign up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.